Sister. We're going head to head. To see who's gonna win the golden egg. Hang, Hang on, on for, for the loop. loop. Four, three, two, one. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. And if you're new to this whole loop show thing, there is something you should know about us. We love Jesus. And Easter is a big celebration of all that he has done. We like to have fun and we like to dig deep. So this year we're celebrating with a big bouncy challenge. And we're going to ask a bunch of your questions about Jesus. A big old basket full of questions. Who is Jesus? What did he do? When? Where? Why? How? All the basics. And while we get set up for our loop show egg challenge, let's kick things off with the first batch of your questions. Jesus loved questions. His friends asked him questions. Strangers asked him questions. Experts and beginners, religious and non-religious. Everyone was curious. This guy seemed to know his stuff. With questions, they could better understand what he understood. We can do that too. Let's ask some questions and get to know why the people who follow him love Jesus so much. Who is Jesus? Was Jesus ever a regular kid like me? How do we know Jesus was real? So who is Jesus? He was a Jewish man who lived over 2,000 years ago. He was born in a barn and grew up in a poor town called Nazareth with his parents, Mary and Joseph. He was born as a human through the power of the Holy Spirit. He was the Son of God. He was fully God and fully human. He was both. So was Jesus ever a regular kid like you? Well, Jesus was born a human, but it happened through the power of the Holy Spirit. So he wasn't exactly your average kid. He was God's son in human form. When we say he was fully human, it means he learned how to walk and talk just like you and me. He had siblings, he made friends, he laughed, he cried, he probably had a favorite snack, which I so happen to believe wholeheartedly that it was pretzels with a bowl of Nutella on the side, but that's just me. He sneezed, I don't know what people said, if they said God bless you or not, but he was tempted to also make wrong choices. He did all the things a human does with one exception. He never sinned. As part of God's plan, Jesus lived a perfect life without the burden of sin. How do we know Jesus was real? Well, most of what we know about Jesus, we read about in the four gospels, which are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They give eyewitness accounts from his followers about what he did and what he said. But other historians also gave accounts of Jesus. Very few people actually argue about if Jesus was a historical figure. Instead, they fight over whether or not what he said was true. That's where we can start. Jesus was real. He was human and he was the son of God. And what's so good about that? Like, what does any of that have to do with you? Well, there's more to come. Like we said, Easter is a big celebration. Here on The Loop Show, we have a tradition of doing an egg-based challenge. And this year is no different. Climb into your protective bubble shells and find the eggs on the field. The team with the most eggs scored in their basket or goal at the end of 10 minutes gets to eat what's in the golden eggs. The other team gets to eat what's in the gray eggs. And like they always say, you don't want what's in the gray eggs. This side we have... The red team! This side we have these! The blue team! Blue. Three, Three, two, one! <laughs> Starting off with a really big kickoff. <laughs> I think there's been some points scored already. There's at least two in the goal. Two eggs in the goal. <laughs> there's a pretty significant advantage with all the wind coming this way. Yeah. Do have a Ricky down. Yeah. Oh no, bring it down. <laughs> oh, there's a Jamie. Oh. I just got hit with an egg. <laughs> <laughs> There is a total of four eggs over in the blue team's net. All right, we just got word. We're resetting back to the center. Ricky, I believe you're at four. How are you feeling about having four eggs right now? I'm feeling really great. We're on our way to a really solid omelet. Three, two, two one. Oh, there's more action. The red 
He now has more eggs on their side. So we do have one blue defender over here doing his best to block the goal. And we've got a Jamie. Oh, Jamie has a new technique. There's kind of like a... Oh! oh! Red really pushing in on the goal. Yeah! Red with the, on the board. How's it feel, Jamie, to be on the board? It feels so good. Woo! Yes! Back to the game. Ooh. Red is making a push for the goal. <laughs> yeah, we've got a two-on-two -two situation. Oh, that was halfway down the court. It looks like Jamie has a little sneak attack play she's going with. She was waiting on the rest of the team to clear out. Here she goes. She hopped about three times and got stalled out. She's going. There's so many bubbles. Oh, hold on, what hold on. Ricky is now on the ground with a new we move. We got an egg pile. What do we call this move here? There's a lot of falling, there's a lot of jumping. Oh, we're at the, the line. Yeah. It's a goal. We have a goal for our team. Did Jesus ever pray or get baptized? What did Jesus teach? So did Jesus ever pray or get baptized? For sure, yes. Eyewitness accounts tell us about how Jesus prayed and got baptized. The Bible tells us he told stories, he felt emotion, he was tempted and dealt with fame and personal attacks. He experienced a lot of the same things that you and I experience, and he showed us how to live. God's Word also tells us the message that he brought. So what did Jesus teach then? <laughs> Jesus proclaimed the good news, that His arrival on earth meant God was going to do something new in the world. He was bringing His kingdom to earth through the life and death of Jesus. And this new kingdom was unlike anything else, anything that you and I have ever seen. And it would change absolutely everything. It would change how we think about service and love and power and freedom and forgiveness. Jesus taught a life-changing message of a full life for everyone on earth. That life-changing message includes you. But why is this new kingdom such good news? Stick around. All right, it's round two. We have swapped goals. We're ready to go. Three, two, one. Oh, you're already seeing they, eggs they've all, got a all over the place. They have got a rhythm. The egg is in the net. Woo! Got Ricky over here. <laughs> this is the bunny hop by Ricky. Whoa! A 1v1. Oh, oh, we got it in. Ricky with the score on the unique new bunny hop move we just saw introduced. Full on goalie mode, making it impossible for anybody to score. Let's see if it holds. We just got word from the sideline that Ricky is not allowed to do the specific move he is doing right now. We're right in the middle of the action. It's like bumper bubbles. We've had two eggs scored on the red side. You got it. She is moving ever so slowly. We've got a Ricky on the ground again. Not this time, Ricky. Okay, go, go, go! Get it, get it, get it! Oh, the egg is in! Woo! Buddy, buddies, game! Yeah. A lot of action taking place already. There are already all six eggs on blue side. A lot of defending happening. I feel like the hopping is like a consistent technique that we have seen. Whoa! That's a big collision! They're good. They're, they're good. Everybody's good. Everybody's okay. good. They're all up. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, something exciting. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We've got a battle at the net. No egg is involved. Jamie trying to make room for her team. Keep going, Kay. Go for it. Ricky's, go. Ricky's on a strong base. Foul. Here he goes. He's out of the net. There's a net open. Kate, it's making a move. Oh, a little okay. pass, a little assist. Oh, and they just shoot it wide, missing the basket by mere inches. We're in the final Second. seconds. Yeah. It's the final seconds. Let's go, D. Five, Keep it going. four, Keep it going. three, two, two one. one. That's it. That's it. Really want to thank all of our 
our teams for working really hard. Why did they kill Jesus? Why a cross? Why does Jesus help us even though we crucified him? Why did they kill Jesus? What Jesus taught was different than what people were used to hearing. Some of the other leaders of the time thought he was a liar or a fraud or a false prophet, and they felt threatened by the news that he was sharing. They didn't want him to take over, and so they plotted to kill him. Jesus actually predicted his death many times because he knew it was all a part of God's rescue plan. Jesus faced arrest, a trial, and an incredible amount of pain and a humiliating death on the cross. And as far as why a cross, the cross was for dangerous criminals and people believed this message was dangerous. On that cross, Jesus gave it all for you and for me. It was an act of love. He took our sin and died in our place. It was the ultimate sacrifice. And so why does Jesus help us even though we crucified him? And the simple answer is love. The most amazing and greatest love that you or I will ever know is all because of Jesus. It's because Jesus lived a perfect life and when he died, sin was defeated. And because sin was defeated, we can have forgiveness for our sins and our relationship with God is forever restored. The life, death, and resurrection of Jesus proves to us that if death couldn't stop God from helping us, then what possibly could? Absolutely nothing. We mess up, God shows up. And through Jesus, nothing separates us from God's love. So you may be asking what happened after Jesus rose from the dead? Well, for his friends and followers, a reunion. He appeared to many of them, showing them that he was the real deal. For you and me, a reuniting of our right relationship with God. We can partner with him here and now to see his kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. We can share the good news that God is moving in the world and setting everyone free through Jesus. And so here's a question. Who is Jesus to you? Knowing what you know about his life, you're invited to make a choice because when you truly see how Jesus changes everything, it's hard to not get excited. It's hard to sit back and not want to join in. It's hard not to jump up and serve. We owe it all to Jesus Christ. He loved us and we love Jesus. We won! Yay! Congratulations, guys. 
well deserved. Well played, everyone. Yes. Bring in those eggs. Woo! All right, you guys got gold. We got gray. Oh, man. Good. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you the anticipation. I think I'm going to crack this. it. And then... Crack it and then... All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh! Oh, my yeah. beans. Mmm. Those jelly beans? Oh! Are you spicy jelly beans? Oh, no. Oh, it's getting really hot. Oh, oh wow. wow. Well, definitely more on the spicy than sweet side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. This is a spicy definitely. Easter. Oh, no. oh, I love jelly beans. Are they spicy? No, they're normal. They're good. <laughs> oh, oh, man. They're, they're too enough. sweet. Oh, oh man. Oh. Stop it. Where's my bubble when <laughs> I need it? <laughs> Red team down to quit. Red team. Red you know what, guys? Yeah. I got I to gotta do it. Oh. Jalapeno, like. <laughs> Even though it's a bumpy road, we'll keep going. It's like stuck in so you know, my teeth. Done. Are you crying? Yeah. I'm crying too, but. <laughs> oh, she's not wrong. It gets in your throat. This... <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys. They like hit me so fast. Ah! There we go, girl. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Go, Roderick. MVP in the game. MVP with the jelly beans. Woo! Every year, Easter is a celebration. Woohoo! And when we say that we love Jesus, we're saying we owe him everything. Jesus is real. He came to earth with good news. He lived a perfect life. And died to revive our friendships with God. If you hear nothing else this Easter, hear this. God loves you so much. And through Jesus, nothing can separate you from that love. If you'd like to learn more about Jesus and how to follow him. We have a ton of videos that might help. Check out our playlist of videos about Jesus on our channel. Happy Easter, friends. Happy Easter, Loopsters. All right, let's say it. Three, two, one. Enjoy the ride.